Before we get into this video, I want to go ahead and put a very clear disclaimer at the beginning for anyone who may be new to this channel. This video is either an update for my Pan That palette, which heavily features a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette, or it is a video in which I am using products from companies I no longer support. There's been a lot of long overdue drama happening in the beauty community along with the supposed cancellation of Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. I did a live stream where I really put together all of my thoughts on kind of the most recent drama, though probably most of it is out of date. I'll throw it up in the cards if you want to hear my full long drawn out thoughts. But at the end of the day, I do not support Shane Dawson, I do not support Jeffree Star, and I don't support quite a few makeup brands at this point. Back when I did buy these products, I was interested in the makeup and I was trying my best to do what a lot of other creators can do, which is separate the art from the artist. I did my best to do that, but then I realized that I recognized a line and that once uh, a company or a creator or a person or a celebrity crossed that line, I could not support it and I couldn't separate the makeup from the company or the makeup from the owner or the art from the artist. and. It took a lot of reflection to get to that point. I reached that conclusion and I realized I had to apply that across the board. I couldn't pick and choose which celebrities, which influencers I was going to support and not support based on their actions and then their company's actions. So I had to apply that across the board. So as of now, I currently own quite a few Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, makeup products. I also have a few from other brands I no longer support, but that's basically the gist of this. And I don't want to advocate throwing away products that you've already bought, you've already spent the money. I want to advocate reflecting on your own actions and reflecting on how you move forward. So I advocate for using up uh, products from problematic people, problematic brands, using them up and then decluttering them and never purchasing from the brand again. I've seen a lot of people immediately take down their past support videos for these brands. I'm keeping mine up, not because I'm like making a lot of money on them. I usually make less than a dollar a video, but I want to leave them up so that you have a clear picture of where I came from. Because I did start out as someone who did their best to separate art from the artist so that I could enjoy makeup, which is a terribly shallow and horrible thing to do. Like we, these people, of which I used to be one of them, would excuse all of these behaviors or try to ignore these behaviors in order to what? In order to what? enjoy some YouTube videos, in order to have some pretty makeup. It's not like we have a shortage of makeup here, right? We have anti hauls and we have B-Wows that tell us there's so much makeup coming out every day. So that's what I advocate for. So I just want to go ahead and put this in the beginning of any video moving forward. If it's a Pan That Palette update or if it's any other video where I heavily feature um, a product from one of those brands. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if this gets repetitive, but I do want to make that very loud and clear, especially in light of recent events. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my last update before the finale for my 2020 Pan That Palette, which is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. So this is a big one. We've actually finished basically all the shades in the actual palette, so all we're left with is kind of my, you know, impromptu customized face palette. So before we jump into that, let's go ahead and run the slideshow of all of my palette updates to this point.
And this is my palette now. As you can see, it did stain a bit, but I did finish up all of the Franken black that was left here. I just used that in my hairline and in my brows, particularly just to finish that up. So everything that's left in the palette is done. Look how satisfying that looks. So I have actually been using this daily. The blushes are really pretty. I I do. Someone actually asked me if I use these as eyeshadows still. I do. Uh, they're just a little bit uh, not as easy to blend out. Like the purple I'm currently wearing on my lower lash line and it still looks really nice. So I do like incorporating it in that way. Um, but I've been using the bronzer and the contour daily. I'm wearing it today. And honestly, I've been actually reaching more towards the purple blush recently because it just has a, such a nice tone to it. So this is very different from the rest of my pan that palette palettes because for this one uh there really isn't a super end goal here just because like my goal was to transform it so to use all the shades transform it i basically done that so we've got a month left before the finale and then before i introduce my 2021 pan that palette so my goal just for this month is just to keep using this palette i'm wearing the bronzer contour and the purple blush today and I think I was going to keep doing that. I really like this palette. I did repress um, the purple shade with a little bit of vegetable glycerin and it, it's hold, it's like holding together so much better. And this is just so much better than what came before it. Um, so I'm probably just going to keep the packaging of the blood sugar palette until the finale so I can take one last picture. And then this is going to get recycled and it's going to go bye bye. And I'm just really proud of myself. I feel like I did a really good thing. Like, I, I started this year out a year that's been a dumpster fire. So this was, you know what, this was actually a good palette for a dumpster fire year, don't you think? I, I was using it all up. I was talking about the journey. I was talking about my past. I was doing this. I was doing that. And then I transformed it and I made it into something new and something that I, I look forward to using, look forward to opening, and that can inspire others too. So yeah, I feel like this was a bit anticlimactic maybe but um by the finale i mean i'm not gonna have all these finished by the finale obviously so i think the finale is really just going to be i don't know maybe putting this into a nice z palette something different but yeah i'm happy with the progress that i've made so far so despite being slightly anticlimactic, that's where I am currently. Uh, this is the last update. So the finale will be the last video, which will be going up, I believe, the day before uh, January 1st. So probably New Year's Eve, if you guys want to see it then, if not the, the Wednesday before. Because I am planning, um, I'm going to pre-film it sometime in the next week or so, the intro from our 2021 Pan That Palette, which will be going live January 1st. I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below how your 2020 Pen That Palette is going and if you've already picked your 2021 Pen That Palette. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.